What is up, beautiful people of the K-pop world? I was just part of the Key and the Bad Love premiere. I must say it was fun what they actually had in store of us. A little bit of a one-to-one -one with Key and a little bit of a live stream to understand what was in his mind while making his first album or one of his second albums. Not sure how many albums he made so far. If you know, put it in the comments below. I would love to know more about that. But I must say, guys, to be part of a premiere with all you guys to see the love for someone as strong as Key. I mean, my God, everyone was just so excited for the first second for that countdown to go from one minute into zero everyone wanted to be part of it i'll be honest though i only saw the last 30 seconds of the premiere and the main reason is i was in the shower and hey i thought i had some time to get ready but what can i say i did miss some of the time before we start with the review that i'm super excited to go through with you guys i want to say three things one i hope you guys like the new kind of setup i want to do some standing videos where it's just healthy for my back and i can also move around a little bit you know it's music still i want to float my boat a little bit so why not do that too if you have any suggestions on videos you want me to review in the near future then please just put them in the comments below i would love to see your recommendations guys i really really enjoy to see all the help i can get from you and it's really just fun to see what you all like and what you don't like give me your suggestions and three if you do enjoy the content you see right now on this channel and you want to give me love you want to give me support and please just make sure you hit that love button aka the subscribe button that like button even hit the bell be part of the community let's make this a community where we can just say what we want about any artist and actually go out there and have a good time talking about it don't be scared guys i really love all your appreciation when it comes to criticism to any type of video whether it is good or bad i would say let's not waste any more time and let's jump right into key with bad love like i said at the beginning of the video i've only seen the last 20 30 seconds of this mv so the rest is all new to me i really want to see what this video holds. so i would just say let's start and see what bad love has to offer in the world of bad love by key oh i love the cuts already i mean so far what we see here is actually the first 30 seconds of the second teaser so it's literally just the intro oh but i just love how many people are already taking part in the mv hold up I already said this in the teaser. I just love the set that we see here. I love the synthwave sound effect. It's a very 90s, 80 type of feel. It's very, very nice. And also, I don't know why, but I'm getting this feel as if I'm somehow getting some influence from Taman with Criminal, where someone is wearing red. But I like it. I like the color red as well. It really stands out. It's a popping color. Ah. Like this is a little bit, I don't want to say it's a copy of Taman and Criminal. I just love the idea that it's just a one popping color to make the star even stand out a little bit further than what it is. I love the idea of mirrors generally in any type of set. Let's go back a little bit and I'll tell you why. Mirrors just allow the set to look a little bit different from what we see before. Let's go back a little bit more. For example, here it makes the room look so much bigger than what it is. The room is just bigger because it's extended through the mirror. This is also a very cool effect. This is basically a mirror that is not 100% thick. In other words, it's not 100% uh, untransparent there's some transparency to it but if someone is behind the mirror and there's a light shone on her you basically get to see another person it's a very cool effect it's a little bit of a small gimmick but it looks really cool it's a very cool effect just to see someone through a mirror it's simple it's a practical effect i love practical effects it's always good very nice transition there also, I just want to say that here we see a clear, beautiful shot where we have a little bit of buildup. It shows about the location. It shows where Key is at the moment. He's getting ready for a show, a set, something in that area. But it's nice that we get these wide angle shots really to show a little bit more about the location. It's cool. It's still nice again, even though Key is wearing some other clothes and also the dancers are wearing black and white, they still have that red color there on the background. It's a repeating color. Important to always make sure that if you do work with a color palette, it should be repetitive to a certain extent. Okay. 
A little bit of a trick here. What I like about what to do with the light here, the spotlight, it's really just to extend the background to show that how big the area actually is where he's going to be walking in. It's a really cool little indication. Very nice. That red color is back again. It's also very nice that even though we see Key as the main subject, he's wearing something else. I really like that. They also did that with Taman a lot. That When Taman is on stage, it's him that stands out from the rest. Very, very cool. I do like that we still see all the choreography part of, or the choreographists, the other people. They also have a big role in the video. It's very nice. Everyone has a bit of space, which is really cool. What I like about this again, even though I'm not a dancer or anything, I just want to say it reminds me a little bit of Taemin. And I'm saying Taemin a lot lately. I don't know if this is something that he did in the past. If he did, please correct me. But what I like about it, it's just a bit like Taemin in the sense of they are using the other choreographers, the other dancers as an extension to the body of Key. I love that principle. I love that idea. It's just very creative. It's very refreshing. And it just makes Key look so much bigger on screen because it just looks like everything, what he's touching or that is there, it's just part of Key himself. It's a very nice visualization. You see what I mean? It's really cool. Even though I know that he's now flying through space, I just love that we do not see too much of outside the window. The main reason is that will be CGI, it will look fake. They do have this fake capsule that we can see here, but it just creates the reality a little bit better because we do not see any fake CGI. I mean, when we saw the spaceship, it doesn't look too good in all honesty, but from what we see, this is a fantastic way of handling such situation. Film as much as possible where you don't need any CGI. Very nice. Again, that extension to his body. And again, here we see more mirrors, actually. Like I say, mirrors are a fantastic, fantastic... I only want to say, guys, if you go on set and you want to make a set look bigger than what it is and you want to add a bit of mystery to it, add mirrors. Mirrors extend everything. They just make everything super realistic and super unrealistic, depending on what mood you want to create. And uh, it just makes everything look bigger and more special. I already mentioned this as well in the teaser review when we look at the set that we see here. I love that it has this 80s, 90s vibe to it with all the disco balls, those special lights, those very warm. I don't even know what type of lights they are. They're a little bit old fashioned. They could just be old lights with LEDs inside, but it's a very nice effect, a very nice feeling that we see here. Very cool. And I love how it slowly... Let's go back here again just to show you guys what I mean. While the group is slowly expanding behind Key, that the camera is slowly going backwards to showcase more and more of the group. Very good job here on the camera work. Really nice. Really cool. Very nice. You see, it's still extending. Like We're slowly going more and more backwards while the group is getting further and further apart from each other. Really nice idea. Very good job on the cinematography here. Beautiful to look at. Very nice. You see, they're really trying to replicate what's going through his head, the craziness, the wildness, the on and off with lights. You don't know what's reality. You don't know what's fake. Very good visualization what's happening here. One thing I want to point out one more is that we see these lights here in the background. I just want to point out that too many videos still create too much lens flare, aka the lights are either too bright or they're just too bright to look at. They really did a good job with making sure that there's a bit of a harmony here with the lights in the background. They're not overly blinding. They're not super bright. They did a fantastic job here with the brightness and the color uh, correction in post. Really good. Very nice. Oh, that was really cool. Do you see that? 
again, it's small little movements like this that make an MV so much better. While the choreographers outside of Key are turning to the right, you can see the camera is basically turning with them. Really, really cool. I love that. It's just more dimensional than just a flat camera doing nothing. Really nice. Really, really nice. Come on, Key. Ah. Ah. This was the part where I got into the premiere again and I saw all you guys writing. It was super, super cool, actually. Really loved it. Very nice transition there between the two different dances, or the same dance, but from different scene to scene. Super cool. Minimal CGI, all real effects, as if it's a party. Ah, oh, that's amazing. That's cool. You see that? He does a little bit of a twist and all the other members move with him. Like I said, that extension to the body. Bad love. Here we go, guys. We did it. We finally got the MV. One more thing I want to say, though, about Key. I love his expression. Throughout the entire MV, it stayed the same. It's just phenomenal. I've never seen any artist that has that same look, whether you don't know whether he's sad or happy or unhappy. Amazing, you know, he's really just one of those characters where I'm like, damn, that is really, really different. So yeah, guys, uh, that is Bad Love by Key. And I just want to say that this video seems like a small celebration to Key. I don't know why, but you can really just say that they put love and care in making this video. It seems as if everything was just coordinated to the point where everything just looks really, really fine. Like, it seems like a fine diamond was made here. On top of that, I must say Key is a phenomenal artist. He is really just pushing himself to the limit i was looking at some of the older shiny videos where you still saw key when he was a bit younger he is really just next level now you can really see he has grown to be his own artist he has found his own identity and i really like that you really like to see progression in all artists especially the ones that you appreciate when it comes to the video work and when it comes to the lights and the color grading they really just hit it on the nail the cuts are very easy to follow there is no headache when it comes to the storytelling it's very easy to follow between all the different sets and especially with all the different types of scenes that we see for example we have choreography and then a bit more storytelling it's really nicely put together in the sense of it's easier to follow what's going through the mind of key and that's what i like i like when storytelling is actually easy to follow and you don't need to look at the lyrics to understand what the video actually is about this is what you call a visualization masterpiece it just looks fantastic to look at when it comes to the song as well i just generally loved it i already loved it since the teaser purely because it is going a little bit back to the 70s 80s with that synth it's really really nice and especially they brought that feeling back in the video with those old lights with the disco balls with some of the elements the outfits it looks really really good and basically they made an era fit with the title of the song bad love it's really nice what they created here it really just shows that it's a bit of a painting that is drawn with key and all of the producers and the people in the background it's really well done this is really one of those videos where i'm like i would need to watch it multiple amounts of times to understand what's actually happening but it does really stand out this is one of those mvs that i'm like yeah he, you nailed it. Fantastic. Fantastic comeback. But yeah, guys, now the big question is, what do you think of Key and, of course, the song Bad Love? Do you like the song? Do you not like the song? Do you like the MV? Do you not like the MV? And of course, if you notice something that I didn't, that I was supposed to pick up, please put it in the comments below. I will check it again and come back to it. I would love to see more about the MV in case I missed anything. But from what I see, it was very simple shots, very easy to understand. And I love that. I love simplicity. Less is sometimes more. And even just to the CGI, I'm happy that they tried to ignore most of it. They didn't put any windows into that camera to see outside because it would just break the reality from what we see we don't want to break that reality we don't want to mix real with fake especially when real and fake are so different from one another but yeah guys thank you very much for watching and like always if you do enjoy the content that you see right now just make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe and of course be there on the next video and of course if you haven't yet please make sure to put your recommendations down below on what a video you want me to review next whether it is key whether it is shiny just tell me i want to know more about the k-pop world i'm learning more and more and the world is just so exciting i mean don't you guys agree and on top of that guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you on the next video i'll catch you then and have a good one